Welcome to Gun Carnivore in Thailand. What's going on today? Well, got up early. It was raining. I went to the pool, got some exercise in, and uh, we don't have all the results yet back from what noise blood tests were. But I can tell you a few of them. We tested HbA1c, and it was less than the reference range asked for. I looked for uric acid, and it was dead smack in the middle of the accepted range. I checked magnesium, and it was dead smack in the middle of the range. We checked the sodium in A level, and it was uh, on the low side of the acceptable range. The range is 136 to 145. She was 138. Fine. Uh, Recheck the potassium level, and it was dead, uh, slightly low, but in the acceptable range. The acceptable range is 3.5 to 5.1, and she was 3.7, which is good. I uh, also did a test on vitamin D, and she was had uh, just slight insufficiency not a not just not much insufficient but a little insufficient so she's going to start taking vitamin d 15000 iu uh every day with uh the vitamin d has k2 with it which makes it better to absorb now i don't know how this happened but over 20 years ago, I had a doctor who recommended that I check my D3 levels. And they were deficient, so I started taking 15,000 IU of D3 every day for the last 20 years or more. And I don't have a D3 deficiency problem. Uh, and it is an underappreciated vitamin that's necessary for somebody to be healthy. And if, if my eyes have drifted off, I'm, I'm reading her report at the same time. But basically, we're still waiting on the, on the insulin test. That's not as quick. So I don't have any results of that. Uh, I just had some of that good old fatty pork on a stick. Lots of fat there. And it fills you right up. So other than that, thank you very much for being a follower. And we will see you for the next video. That's all, folks.